Good morning. It is a Monday. Welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Becca and if you don't know, I am a small jewelry business owner and if you want to see behind the scenes of how I run my small Etsy jewelry business, you're in the right place. Thank you guys for coming today. Today I'm just going to take you guys along with me. I've got some administrative things to do. I'm looking like a crazy mess because I went to the gym this morning, going to get my run on, doing a couch to 5k program. Anyway, I digress. I've got my iced coffee. I'm going to watch my catnip vlog while I make my to-do list for today. It's an administrative heavy day. Tomorrow's going to be my ordering day. Don't worry. I will take you along with me. Also, I, over the weekend, did a little uh, office transformation. I got a new piece, two pieces of Ikea furniture. So let's go and get this week started. Let's grab it and let's get it. Okay, I've made it up to my office and I just feel so good in here. It feels so light. And I really loved that piece of furniture that I had here before, but it was black and it didn't quite feel right. So I'm really excited about this new furniture that I have. I'm about to get started working on my admin stuff, but I want to show you guys this picture. See this gold? Can you guys see the gold? I'm going to walk away a little. Hopefully you can see it behind me. See that gold picture with the trees and the birdie? Um, I am wanting to put that there, but I also think that I need to maybe put shelves right there as well, just in case I need to hold a few things. And I don't know what to do because I don't want to get rid of my picture. I'm going to Ikea on Wednesday with my husband. Um, we're actually going to have a celebrating our 14th wedding anniversary and we're going to have an Ikea date. He took the day off and we're going to go to Ikea and have a lot of fun. So I'm totally pumped. Maybe I'll find something that can fit there, that can fit there without me having to lose this picture because I love it so much. Good morning, Neverland. You ever seen that movie? Hook. It's a Tuesday. It is a beautiful, glorious day today. It feels fresh and new for some reason. Do you ever have days like that where you just feel freshly inspired and ready to go? Yesterday I did not have that day so much. Um, I did get my video edited. I did get the things I needed, not all of them, done yesterday. I think that as a stay-at-home mom and business owner, I struggle to get things done with the intermixing of what the kids need and what the family needs. But that is part of the journey. My kids are my number one job. I have chosen that and truly feel like that's my priority. So even though I was not able to get as much done yesterday as one I wanted to, I was able to get my video up and it was the one announcing that I had hit over 100 subs and I'm so thankful. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. But today we're back on a Tuesday. We've got orders to put out. I've got, I always have new listings to put up that I have product that I haven't listed yet. So I've got a bunch of stuff to get done today and I'm totally excited. My new office setup is glorious. I think it looks really good. And basically I'm gonna have my packing orders like I always do, but I also wanted to show you guys today just a quick glimpse of how I use Canva to create my jewelry backing cards. So I'm gonna make sure that I show you what I do along that process. If you don't know about Canva yet, it is the coolest, like easiest beginner graphic designing program that there is. Well, I have to say in my opinion that I have found. I have a link in my description to Canva if you guys wanna check that out. So let's jump into the day and let's get stuff done. I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna fly, we're gonna roll, we're gonna have a blast, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it and it is super simple and I'm gonna try not to be too long-winded here. So I go to custom size and I really like to do a 2000 by 2000. So when I'm creating a jewelry backing card, it's always a square and 2000 by 2000 pixels is also what they, the size that's recommended on Etsy for your pictures. So I'm gonna create that. Um, and then let's rename this. I'm going to call this bonus sister. Now I have already created a listing that is similar to this, um, but I wanted to kind of just start fresh bonus sister listing and I wanted to start fresh and take you guys with me so it, you can see it from a plain background. Sorry about my dog barking. Ben B. Cray. 
Okay, so the first thing that I want to add to my Canva page here, my bonus sister card, is a text. So I just pick a text. I always pick add heading, and I'm going to type in bonus. I'm going to enlarge said bonus. It's not going to be that big. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. Why didn't you? Oh, you don't want to copy and paste that in for another word, and then I'm going to write sister. And I'm going to do two different fonts on these, which is why I want to make them two different text boxes. And I want to also be able to move them around freely. So my two branding fonts, one is Bloomishly, and you can actually, this is not an original Canva font. Um, I downloaded this font and uploaded it to, I paid for it, paid for this font so that I could use it and uploaded it to Canva so that I could use it. So I'm going to use Bonus Sister. My bonus is not the correct font either. So I'm going to click on that. And listen, if this is not as in-depth as you need and I'm going too fast, please forgive me. I'm definitely not an expert. I just um, wanted to share with you what I do. And if it helps, then awesome. If it is too fast, there are tons of um, Canva tutorials right on here that you guys could actually use. So now I'm going to change this font to my Glacial Indifference, but I do not... I also use Lustria sometimes. I like it to be in all caps. And then I'm gonna go and I can adjust the letter spacing. So the letter spacing, you can look at that. You can space out your bonus. You can put it back a little bit. I like mine a little bit spaced out. Maybe not that spaced out. Okay, there we go. I think I like that. I do wanna make this just a skosh smaller, bonus sister, and I want it to sit just in the nook of that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and group these two together so that every time I move them, you you click shift and click on both of them, or, or you could also just go like this, use your mouse and draw a box around them and then it'll select it. Now that there's nothing else going on in here that works for that, but if there were background images, that would not work. So then you're gonna click on these three dots and you're gonna group them. I like to keep them together so that I can make sure that they're centered, I can up the size a little bit, go back in the three dots, click position and center, and it will get me right at the top center. I could also do middle. That is not what I want. So I'm gonna to go to the cute little undo button here. So we're at the top, we've got my bonus sister, and now I'm gonna add another heading, which this is where I'm gonna put my little quote phrases. And I always like to put my quote phrases at the bottom. So now let's say that I am happy with this and we are going to now start decorating it. So I usually go to elements and photos for this. So I really like to go with a lot of watercolor look. So when I type in what I'm looking for, I type in watercolor. So let's just start really basic. Watercolor is what I'm gonna search for in the elements section. Elements and photos are just a little bit different. You have a little bit more um, adjusting options when it comes to photos, but then at the same token, sometimes you can adjust the actual physical colors in elements too. It just depends on the design and the capabilities per that design. So let's go through here and just go ahead and find something that, that I like. And I'm, I'm normally drawn to flowers, but um, I also know that this the value in something simplistic also plays a really important role too. So, so we're gonna go like this. I just like this teal the way it is. I'm gonna blow this up. I want that variation around the edges. I really, I'm gonna make it even just back a little bit smaller so I have a little bit more edging. Okay, I'm happy with that. I like, I like the color. And then I have a very commonly used frame that is, I use all the time. And I need to go see if you are in my recently used. Yes, you are. It's just this gold frame that I feel like adds a finishing touch to it. And this looks pretty centered, but let's go back and double check. We're going to center you in the middle and see it adjusted it just a hair. And I think that that is super simple, but we need a little zhuzh. I, if you guys can find a better speckly sparkle, you guys let me know, but I have not been able to find one. So I use this I'll blow you up a little bit. Obviously, I don't want cut edges, so I flip it around, rotate it just a bit, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to blow it up even more, and I'm going to put that in the edges. And I'm going to go and just adjust that until I feel like super content. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. 
I like my little dash of sparkle there. Um, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, so now I feel pretty content with that. Um, and I actually think bada boom, bada bang, you got a beautiful backing card. Like this one is super simple. And as you can see, I mean, it took me a little bit longer because I was taking time to explain every step, but Canva just has so many options. And then, and you can start to get your vibe down. You don't have to do watercolor or gold. You know, you can do, um, cutesy cartoon or anything like there are so many options and so many elements on um canva that give you really creative choice without having to be an actual graphic designer so if you have any more questions please feel free to ask me i will let you know um I'll give you answers to the best of my ability. I'm not a professional. I am a total novice, but I find this so easy to use and I use it every single day. So there you are. I hope that you guys can use Canva and make something awesome for your business too. It takes time to get it right. Sleepless days and nights. We just need a little more. Just a little time. For you and I So stay Well, hey, 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 it is Thursday and it has been such a weird week this week. I wanted to come on here and be um, popping, but it's been such a quiet week, which is totally okay. And, um, but you know, it does take some mental wrapping around. I definitely can get down on myself when business slows, but this week I'm really trying to remind myself that every time during the summer for my business, it goes down a little bit and it quiets. And instead of getting down on myself, I really need to take this opportunity to rest, 
to plan and to continue building my business behind the scenes instead of kind of viewing it as, oh no, it's slow, what am I gonna do? Well, I have loads I can do and I know that and I just need to keep focused on moving forward and taking this time, this quieter time for um, the quieter things like the behind the scenes, logistics, new products, um, planning for the next year ahead, planning for Christmas, yes, this early. So I really wanna take this opportunity to do that. And I also want to encourage you that if you you guys are going through that too, if you are running a small business or thinking of opening a business or whatever it might be, I wanna encourage you that these ebbs and flows are so natural and normal when you're growing a business, especially when you're growing it by yourself. So don't be discouraged. And I'm talking to myself when I say that too. Don't be discouraged because it is natural and normal and it's just a cycle. And it's going to get pushed through just like it did before. Last summer for me was really slow too. So slow, in fact, that I almost quit my business. And I'm really glad that I didn't because I have really fallen into a groove this year that I have fallen in love with and truly, truly enjoy. So don't give up, okay? You and me both, don't give up. Um, this, like I said, this week, even though it's been weird, it's been super wonderful. I had a wonderful date with my husband yesterday for our 14th wedding anniversary. We went to Ikea. I stocked up on even more things for my office. I'm so excited. I got a pegboard and I got some floating shelves and I was able to keep my gold picture over here. It looks beautiful. So just that kind of thing, even though I didn't work in my office yesterday on anything really business related other than building up my office, it was still a good day and I still invested in my business. So I'm excited about that. I wanna say congratulations to whoever won the giveaway for my first 100 subscribers. I'm almost to 200, I can't even believe it. I, I honestly, I am so grateful. I didn't think anybody would be interested in following my story, but I thought I would give it a try and I'm so thankful and I'm so excited. So congratulations to that winner. I hope that if you guys enjoy these kind of videos and you wanna go along with me as I learn and grow and share my business experience that you'll join us and you'll join this community. And I just hope that you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.